Taurus. Welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. My girls and appreciate each and every one of you very much. Thank you for being here. I know we're all anxious. I've had a lot of requests for Taurus, so here it is. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you get the messages that you wish to hear out of it. For those of you that are brand new, don't forget to like this video, subscribe. It's all absolutely free to do so. It qualifies you for the free Healing Stone bracelet giveaway, so check that out. This is intended as a love reading, but it definitely can pick up finance, family, friend. This can be somebody in your future. It can be an ex. It can be a crush. It can be anybody who's on your mind. Remember, it's a general read. So whatever doesn't apply, throw it out the door. Um, for those of you, you know, for some of you, it may resonate more. I mean, I get some from my moon sign. I get messages there. I get some from my sun sign. And so I tend to watch my moon sign and my sun sign. So I have playlists available if you wish to check that out, if you know what those are. If you don't, you can definitely find some free um, calculators online if you have your birth date, your time of birth, time of birth and location of birth. Uh, then that way you can figure it out, okay? And remember, again, how tarot works is it's divine timing. Even though I'm doing this message for September and I will sneak peek into October and the balance of September when I continue this reading on an extended platform, meaning I will do another reading after this if you choose to purchase it. It's a lot less expensive than a personal reading, but if this resonates for you, that may be all you wish to do, okay? So check that out. I do accept personal reads now but I just wanted to let you know, okay? Because for those of you that are brand new, you have no idea, right? That's right. Cross watchers, of course, you're welcome here. Thank you so much for being here too and tuning in. Let's check it out. Oh, Taurus, what is going on with you? What do we need to know? What is going on for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for September 2020. What are the messages, please? Wow, Taurus, you're really contemplating the future. You could be thinking about someone from a distance. This is a choice, you know, it, it's like I'm making progress. I'm starting to make plans and it's the universe saying that you are overcoming obstacles. It's like, you know, there's a new beginning. Now you're starting to make choices. I've made a decision what I want my beginning to be, but now I need to figure out what are the next steps is what I'm feeling for you. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, or this could be all of your energy. This can crisscross over and be vice versa. I'm gonna get your person's energy on the other deck. However, like I just said, it can go crisscross over, go vice versa. I think I forgot to mention that. All right, why is the two of wands here for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Wow, yeah, you're really tossing ideas back and forth. Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Should I do that? Again, you could be thinking about traveling. Um, if someone's at a distance from you, this could be you, you know, thinking about making an offer to somebody. You're moving at a snail pace because you could be juggling a lot of responsibilities and finances right now. Or again, just contemplation. It's like, what should I do? How should I do it? What are the best steps to take to get there? Um, it's you, you're, you're trying to do some time management here, money management, setting your goals, figuring things out. You're, I feel you're meticulously figuring things out here, bouncing ideas back and forth. And so you're moving at a snail pace, okay? Now, sometimes the Knight of Pentacles can be an offer to you, of course. You could be dealing with another earth sign or a fire sign. Uh, but I do feel like this is you uh, for whatever reason. But let's keep on going. A lot has been going on with you. We know this, don't we? Yes, we do. And we definitely like to peek in on you and see what's going on. All right, for your person, how does, how does Taurus's person feel about Taurus? What are their thoughts? What are their intentions towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to know, please, spirits and angels, for their highest good for September 2020? Again, I will be sneak peeking at October in the extended. So for those of you this is starting to resonate with, you may want to check that out. Um, just FYI, this is for September. This is the oracle message, the guidance and advice messages from the universe to you for September. I will sneak peek into October in the extended using the other oracles here. It's your extended message for October. So we will sneak peek over there when we get there. Okay, how does Taurus's person feel about Taurus? What are their intentions towards Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus now or in the future? So remember, this can definitely be somebody you haven't met yet. Um, this could be your future planning. Um, it could all be you. It could all be them. Generally, I pick up the other person's energy, but I feel like this is yours. But take it how it resonates for your situation. Each one of you is going to be different. What's going on for Taurus person? How do they feel about Taurus? Please, spirits. 
Wow, they may have made you an offer. There's an offer on both sides. This is the most romantic night of the deck. This is someone who's loving. Uh, this is somebody that's very romantic at heart. They, they're very sweet. They're very kind. They're very loving. They're all about romance, flowers, you know, um, dinners and candlelight and um, hot bubble baths and whatever. It's all the beautiful things. It's, <laughs> it's romance is what it is. Um, they may want you to go out on a date with them or take you out on a date or plan a date. Um, they may have made an offer to you. Okay. It could be clarify the knight of cups so let's uh, just recap here i've got taurus capricorn virgo leo sagittarius aries scorpio pisces cancer why is a knight of cups here please for taurus sun moon rising and venus why is a knight of cups here okay so somebody may feel kind of left out in the cold by you right now and again this could be vice versa you could definitely flip it if you need to but this can be you know i'm financially strapped or i'm going through some emotional loss or i feel like somebody's left me out in the cold here okay Someone's not feeling too hot right now, I would say. Clarify the Five of Pentacles, please. Five of Pentacles for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from their person to Taurus. Why is the Five of Pentacles here, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Taurus. Wow, okay. They may be hiding their emotions right now. You could be dealing with a Pisces. This is the card of Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. This can be that they're really keeping their emotions under wraps, that they're they're feeling kind of down and out right now. Maybe they've made you an offer and they, you know, uh, for whatever reason, maybe they feel like you've left them out in the cold or hung to dry or however you want to say it. It's someone that is going through a period of anxiety and frustration maybe right now because they, they, um, either they're going through some kind of, again, pentacles are about money. That is your energy. It totally could be you. Okay. But it's like I'm going through some financial distress. Five of Pentacles can also be a breakup. Maybe you just recently broke up with somebody or um, again, maybe uh, somebody, maybe you're just not together right now. You're split up or maybe you've just split up. Whatever it is, this is a period of lack, whether it's financial or emotional or both here. Um, there's hidden emotions going on here um, or you're hiding the fact that or keeping it under wraps not necessarily hiding maybe just keeping it to yourself I mean it's your business maybe you're going through some financial struggles so because I, the reason why I say that is we have juggling here finances responsibilities it could be both of you but there is a period of lack here I feel that um, emotions perhaps or finances are being kept under wraps by one or both of you is what I'm seeing let's get the mutual energies Taurus we do want to know how you both feel about one another let's check it out all right for September for Taurus I mean rising in Venus for Taurus and whomever is on their hot mind what is going on for Taurus what do they need to know for their highest good for September please spirits what are the messages how is Taurus and their person feeling about each other mutually how are they both feeling about one another? What are the messages that Taurus needs to their highest good for September 2020, please, spirits? What are the messages? How are they mirroring one another when it comes to their relationship? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know, please, for their highest good for September about their person? How are they mutually mirroring one another? Okay. So the universe says that there's been interference between you and your person. And that's one of the blockages here. You both feel like there's there's been interference on both sides here, okay? But you're both a knight right now, uh, meaning that you're not quite in king status. King status is very mature, meaning the relationship is hitting its maturity level. I feel like you're juggling a lot of responsibilities and you're making plans for your future. I feel like somebody could possibly be at a distance from you, either emotionally, physically, or both. You're feeling left out in the cold, one or both of you. And it's it's hidden emotions here. I feel that there are some things that are in the dark. Um, maybe you're not speaking to your person right now. I'm not seeing any communication. Uh, but there's like things that are hidden with the moon card. This is things that are not yet known either on your side, their side, or both sides here. I feel like maybe either you're keeping it under wraps that you're juggling a lot of money or finances or responsibilities right now. Um, and you're keeping that to yourself. It can be that you're both kind of missing each other. Maybe there was a breakup or you're just not together right now. Again, I don't see any communication, but I do feel like one of the blockages is there's relationship interference here. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> and there you are in your own reading. Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Um, this is, again, about stability. Okay, so I feel like stability, money, finances, interference here, 
overall is the big blockage for you and whomever is trying to come towards you. I feel like you're trying to come toward each other. One of you is very practical, grounded, down to earth. This is why I feel it's you. Um, about finances, you know, having a stable environment, uh, juggling things around, making plans. You're very much a planner. Your person here is, I feel, feeling left out in the cold. They're keeping their emotions quite tight. They're missing you. Um, they feel like they've been left behind by you and they're just, but they're feeling very romantic towards you. They, they want to go out with you. They want to see you. Um, yeah, this is what I'm feeling. And it can be both of you, absolutely. Um, interference is a factor here. I feel stability, finances are a factor here. Okay, one or both sides again, like I said. What are the messages? Distance could be a factor with the two of wands. Okay, trying to make plans. There's distance involved, maybe travel. Multitasking, juggling. So I feel like you're both juggling and having a lot of multitasking going on here. Ooh, we gotta see where we're going. Okay, let's pull some Oracle and some advice messages from the universe. High honor, wow, okay. So, you know, I feel like something might happen for both of you. Maybe you both like really um, see each other in a very high light here, you do. Um, so I don't feel like either one of you have given up. I just feel like one of you is moving very slowly and one of you feels like you're not kind of getting anywhere is what I'm seeing. You're feeling left out in the cold. Again, I don't see any communication, but we're going to keep going. Let's go ahead and pull the romance angel. Separation. There you go. So you're in separation right now. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So yeah, there could definitely be distance involved here, either physically, emotionally, or both. I definitely feel emotionally here. Somebody's keeping their um, emotions to themselves here. Okay, we're gonna clarify the moon pretty soon. Okay, wow. Now I love these love messages. I have to tell you, there's not many of them, but they're very deep. The divine masculine, okay? So um, whether you're the divine masculine, divine feminine, this is about the masculine. Um, Let's go ahead and read the Divine Masculine for you. Now, these are intense messages. I want you to know that they are very in-depth, so it's going to take me a minute, but they're so worth it. They're, um, again, very, uh, you'll see when I read. I'm going to hold up the card, and so you can listen while I'm reading this to you. The Divine Masculine emerges in direct response to the presence of the Divine Feminine. He is always present, but needs the positive space created and held by the Feminine in order to grow and develop. This masculine energy is characterized by protecting what is truly valuable, being attentive, helpful, and able to make decisions. It displays leadership qualities, a sense of accomplishment, sets goals, building, and creating for the good of all rather than individual gain, while facing and overcoming challenges in a more linear, direct approach to getting things done. This is definitely you, I feel, Taurus, whether you're female or male, because you're a person that likes to get things done. You like to plan again. Um, you take your responsibilities very seriously, okay? And you like on Honor, respect you like your ducks in a row and I feel like this is definitely you okay so you've drawn this card today because your masculine energy needs to create or achieve something to bring a project through to its fulfilling conclusion for the good of all and to let go of the idea that you are weak because you need the nurturing support of the feminine so it, it's like you you want to feel um, you know, it's your masculine energy, whether you're female or male, it doesn't matter. You you have to feel responsible, like you've done the best for all um, in the highest good, like I said, in the highest honor, okay? Um, yeah, 100%, that's what I'm feeling. This is awesome. Okay, I wanna go ahead and clarify the Two of Pentacles, the Moon card, then we're gonna head over and we're gonna um, focus on September and October in the extended if you choose to meet me there, okay? Now, I did do it on a different platform instead of Vimeo, so check that out. Look at that. So you could be thinking about a Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. This Queen of Cups is somebody who's very loving, very nurturing, uh, makes a great parent, uh, very balanced between their emotions and their head when making decisions. They are very supportive in anything you do. They're very patient, um, generally speaking. Uh, this is someone that is artistic. They're generally calm unless... You know, obviously, you're not being um, honest with them. You know, we all want honesty, of course, right? But uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, they're highly intuitive. They're uh, somebody that usually keeps their emotions under tight wraps because, uh, you know, they just, they until they really know you, they 
they will keep their emotions tight. They're very, very strong, but they're also very nurturing, very loving, and very intuitive. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or this can represent as well, like you have a lot of love for somebody, okay? Now with the Two of Pentacles, it can also indicate, I have to put it out there, that sometimes it means you're not only juggling finances, you're juggling back and forth a decision you have to make between two people, or again, responsibility, finances, a job, distance, whatever it is that you're having to juggle. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the Sacred Destiny card for you. Love, wow. So there's love here, and it's blooming, and it's growing, and it's getting sun, and it's getting, you know, the fresh air, and something is growing in love here between you, I feel, and someone else. Beautiful. And the next one. Rebuild. Okay, so maybe you're going to rebuild something with this person, with this love that you're thinking about, that you're in separation with. Maybe you're getting your finances, your ducks in a row here, you're planning, okay? And it can be that you're keeping that under wraps. This could be totally 100% you, um, that you're planning for the future and you're trying to juggle a lot of responsibilities. And again, you're, you're being the divine masculine in that you are very responsible. You like to do the best you can for everybody involved. And um, there's been interference in your relationship overall, whether it's your side, their side, or both sides. I feel like some emotions are under wraps here. Um, you could be dealing with, again, a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, again, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries is what I have. Okay, and the final card before we head over to Vimeo, I'm going to clarify the moon card before we go. Rest and rejuvenate. So the universe is saying that... If you haven't already, maybe you're needing a period of rest, rejuvenation, you and the person you're thinking about, you know, um, could be both of you, could be one of you. Let's go ahead and clarify the moon card. We, I definitely want to know what's hidden here. Don't you? Of course we do. Inquiring minds want to know, don't we? Absolutely. Okay, that's too many cards. <laughs> if they're meant to come out again, they will, but that was too many. The moon card here, please, spirits and angels. Why is it here for Taurus's person of interest or whomever is on their mind now or in the future? The moon card. Wow. Okay, so it's interesting. Now, this is about a message coming in either to you or you're wanting to send out a message. This is like good news. This is something that um, perhaps you've been waiting for or your person's been waiting for. It's... It's uh, it's enthusiasm. It's something exciting. It's, I mean, the wands is all about passion. It's it's about uh, moving forward. Passion, you know, wands is about the energy of movement, progress, and we have that here with the two of wands. It's like I've made my decision, but now I've got to make choices surrounding that decision. So you may be wanting to finally message someone, or they want to message you. Um, about what kind of good news it can be anything it can be you know I bought a new house I bought a new car I'm coming to visit you um, you, you want to move in with me let's go on a date or whatever the case may be we're gonna find out where we're headed here what is this good news about so for those of you leaving me now I will see you next time I thank you so much for being here I absolutely love reading for you don't again forget again to hit that like button it's free in the subscription button hit the notification bell because when I do the next giveaway uh, there's three uh, healing stone bracelets here. They're custom made by myself. I'm not going to go into it. It takes too long. It's in the description box. You will qualify to get in it. And I make them all. And it's there's no catch. I pay shipping. I pay everything. It's my way of giving back and saying thank you so very much um, for, your, for your continued support. So for those of you meeting me on the continuation, I will be right there. We're going to find out where we're going in October. We're going to pull these uh, other oracle cards, advice messages from Spirit. We're going to find out what this message is about or what's coming towards you. We're going to dig a lot deeper. I'm going to pull more of the same cards i'm also going to pull the vintage zolar deck look at that there's a period of waiting right here you could be waiting for money bottom of the deck there um, i'm going to also pull the tarot of sexual magic we're going to find out how you and your person feel about each other intimately i'm also going to do the pick a card with the twin flame oracle if you feel like you're on your twin flame journey and i've also got the absolutely awesome fortune cards which i did mean to pull one for you for september so let's do that right now i forgot i apologize the tower solid foundation look at that success with effort what was i just saying yeah i feel like you're definitely focused on finances here okay whether you've gone through a previous split up you're starting a new foundation or whether you're lacking in the financial area you're wanting to build a new foundation um you're wanting something solid it's like you're planning for the future and i want one, one more please spirits for september for taurus thank you 
hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So perhaps right now you're needing a hand. Maybe somebody's going to help you. Maybe that's what the news is that you've been waiting for. Um, maybe you're waiting for assistance in order to get through this financial lack or whatever juggling you're having to do. Because we have rebuild here, right? This is very interesting. We have re rebuild in the tower here. So the universe is saying build a new solid foundation with some effort. And maybe somebody's going to give you a hand or offer you a hand. Wow. Maybe this is what the news is that you've been waiting for. Okay. We are going to dig so much deeper. So join me over on the continuation if you wish to do so. For those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me on the continuation, I will be right there. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, but most of all, positive, because that's half the battle. Wishing you all the very best. Namaste.